Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Cindy. And on this channel, as you can see, we do a lot of home decor, home projects, some cooking, cleaning, all things home related. And I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and become part of this community. Today, we are doing a makeover on my foyer, giving it a fresh coat of paint, painting our stair rail, flipping a furniture for the entryway, and so much more. I'm showing you the before it has a like an almond color by the door it has a purple moth that I was eager to get rid of so the first thing I started on the second floor prepping my walls and here I'm using the same color that I use on my master bedroom makeover which is whisper white in an eggshell finish by bear if you're looking for a white paint that doesn't look stark or doesn't have any undertones, this is it, you guys. This one says that it's like a milky white paint and it's just that. Okay, we're about to paint these walls, but I try to remove this and I can't. I just have to wait for my husband to remove that because that is no longer needed. That has to go down. Look at the difference, it's only one quote. And I didn't do this because of that little thing that I have to remove. But look at the difference and it's already getting dark. So I'm putting the tape as I go. And it's just so satisfying. That is still wet. So I'm gonna start prepping this side since we need the bigger ladder for that. I don't even know how I'm gonna paint that, but to remove all this, start painting. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like cold, but it's too late now. I just miss you. I just miss you. really foggy today but it's looking much 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 better brighter which was what I was looking for look at this too now our next project will be to sand and paint the stair rails in black. So what we're gonna do is, it says the, the primer that I'm using um, that you don't need to sand, but we're gonna do a light sand with a 220 grit just to remove um, that little shine that it has. With this one, and as you can see, it's still, I can still see a little bit of shine, but overall, it's like really um, soft, smooth, I would say. But um, this is a lot of elbow grease, you guys. I wish I would have the machine for this, but 
that's how we're gonna do it part is but essential is to add the painter's tape all over I gotta do this part too just to make sure that those don't get paint After cleaning our stair rails, it's time to prime. So I'm going to use this sensor, bullseye one, two, three. It says that it's a water base, interior and exterior primer for all, all surfaces. And it says that it dries in 30 minutes. I already prepped my area there. And we're going to start. I'm going to do this with two different types of brushes. So let's see. Limousine leather by Wear Marquis foam roller, small, and then a brush. The first coat is done. You can say it's already night, and I am going to continue tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day, you guys, and it's almost five o'clock, and I couldn't even start with the second coat. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start with the brush, and then with the roller, so it could let me show you toys everywhere of course and then the way that I did this one with the roller and it only has one let me see if I can focus and it looks so good you guys a paint hack that I want to share with you is to wrap your brushes or rollers in saran wrap, this way it will stay moist for the next day. As you can see here, it's still wet, perfect to keep on painting with the same brush. the sealant for the final coat um, I used this little can when I painted the coffee table and it's, it's held up pretty well so I'm just gonna do it really like right on top I'm not gonna go to the bottom just you know the surfaces that get most touch The 
the noise. Um, they're cutting our lawn and I have a couple of windows open to let ventilate the air. And I am officially 90% done. So I'm removing all of the tape, have a mess here. And then I'm going with a microfiber cloth, um, half and half alcohol and water. I'm just cleaning this because I am not going to paint this now and it um, I can really take off whatever dirt I see and then as I am removing I can check what it needs to be um, retouch and it's going to be done. Okay now that our stair rails and everything is painted it's time to do a little makeover on this console table i bought this maybe like eight years ago or more at home goods it definitely has seen better days that was with a candle i don't even know what was this so my plan is to add marble contact paper to the top and do something different here because I'm not liking the mirrors anymore and then paint it in black to the next step so it's like a piece of wood with a nail and the only tool that I have is this I'm just trying like to cut here cut here Okay, so what I'm attempting to do here is try to create with these dowels. I'm cutting it to sides so I can layer them here. Let me show you like this. So I needed to make sure that the ones that I order will be really small in diameter so these are our quarter inch as you can see i cut and glue each dowel definitely took me some time but it was all worth it so um 
deciding to see if I keep on here or not. I tried to remove the mirror, but it is impossible. At least the one that I was trying to remove, um, it was like breaking apart um, those pieces. Now my entryway needed a modern mirror to complement this makeover. Thank you to Bratify for sending me this gorgeous piece from their collection. As you can see, it's securely packaged. It comes with its hardware to install, which I'm going to show you the installation process. This installation guide was so convenient to grab all the tools needed. You can hang it vertically or horizontally. This minimalist mirror is 40 by 30 inches, perfect to make any room feel brighter and larger. The frame is made of aluminum, which is the best material to use in case you're in the market for a bathroom vanity mirror because it's not easy to oxidize in wet environments. So if you're looking for a modern, sleek, and simple design, this mirror is for you. The hanging method with the bar makes it so sturdy and easier to install. Thank you to Hubby for installing it for me. And as you can see, I was ready to put it on the wall. I'm peeling off the protective film to admire this beauty. Bratify has different sizes and finishes to choose from. I will leave all the links in the description box below in case you're interested. And thank you again to Bratify for sending me this piece that share me on top for this entryway makeover. And now it is time to decorate our new and improved entryway space with this lovely DIY console table and this sleek and modern mirror. I hope you got inspired to refresh a space in your home. This is an example that we can transform any space in our homes. If I can do it, you can do it as well. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Tell me down in the comments if you liked it. Have you done something similar before? What would you do differently? Follow me on Instagram at Inspiration by CP for sneak peeks of more home projects, daily finds, and much more. God bless you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!